are still today on the top. Our mayor has his offices in the ground floor with a beautiful balcony. There is some flowers today that are just starting the flowers now. That is uh, the nuptial hall where the civil weddings take place. Most of German young people get married uh, civil, not through the church. If they like, after they can get married Protestant here, in the Jesuit church, we will see later what the procession is going to be uh, Catholic. Yeah? And uh, um, it, it grew to the north and to the uh, south, to two wings, yeah? All right, now this, here on the right hand side, that is uh, the Church of the Holy Spirit, and the Church of the Holy Spirit was built in 1400 to 1441 uh, by by the German king, the first big king who bought, built a big palace up in the castle. And uh, uh, here, between the city hall and the church, that's where many celebrations have. Uh, it's to symbolize the spheres of the planet growing out of it, the globe of the earth growing out of it, figures of human beings and missiles to show the, that life is, is always in danger because of wars, like right now that mad man in Korea, yeah, yes. uh, North Korea. Okay, now there's part of our university, the Academy of Science, and this is uh, for German studies. Many people come also from Philippines to study German uh, studies here. Uh, for German studies, yeah, it's the University of Germany uh, for the, the own Germans to study literature and, and their, their own language and many foreigners have come. They prepare for medicine studies, for example. Like okay. <laughs> the trees are very long. Go there later, I will explain you. And. Uh, that's where they studied, where they, uh, and in the ground floor, they had a point in where they printed their own coins. Yeah. So they were always pretty wealthy, and because of being so wealthy, they had to start a hall, which was hard in the former time. Today it's a ruin, it doesn't exist anymore. A three story ladies building where the ladies in, in um, the ladies in waiting of the court used to live. Lots of ladies. What a fantastic place, gentlemen, to have the parties ground here for the gentlemen. Because they had three stories full of ladies on top of the head. To the feet they had the wine cellar full of wine to pump the wine directly into a wine house. And those were the great times for men. Not for uh, ladies. Uh, ladies were just kind of slaves in those days. Okay, let's go on. Um, yeah, here we, we see on the right hand side that was the soldiers' pal palace. Right hand side, that's uh, where they had their services, food storerooms, bakery, butcheries, and a big kitchen. Yeah, inside uh, uh, with a big well. That used to be the well hall, and the well was to uh, supply everybody with water. I ask you, do you think people in, the, in those days used to use ophthalmology, eye, uh, eye medicine, from February until August 1886, under the, a very famous professor, his name was Dr. Becker. Yeah, and he lived in Heidelberg. I'll also show you where he lived. You can take another photograph from there after. And then uh, he moved in the mountains. He, he